Hey guys, it's David with Boost Mode Racing. If you got a GMC Sierra, new new body style, which is the 2007 and a half through 2015, and you're getting a service stability track message, and you're getting an ABS message on your dashboard. Okay, your problem is this guy right here. This is called your steering wheel position sensor. GM part number 15886733. This guy, uh, seems like they've had a lot of trouble with them over the years. Uh, this is a common problem on this body style truck. And I'll show you exactly where that guy is. Let's see if I can turn this for you. See him right there, okay got that green cover on it okay and this is the wiring harness that I'm shining the light on that plugs into it now how to remove this sensor and change it yourself with basic hands tools is not very hard okay and you're gonna save yourself about 300 350 dollars what you're gonna need you're gonna need a 13 millimeter box wrench 15 millimeter box wrench a quarter inch drive with an extension you're going to need a torx 20 you're going to need a torx 10 and you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket of some sort quarter inch extension would be fine and what we're going to start off with is you're going to want to start off and remove this crossbar right here okay this hoop bar and the bolts or nuts are right there okay there's two on that side and there's two on that side. They're both, or all four are 10 millimeter uh, nuts. Remove those, get that guy out of your way. It'll save yourself a lot of headache, okay? Then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna move down to your actual steering shaft, okay? And this bolt and nut right here, it's a 13 millimeter head with a 15 millimeter nut, okay? It's got the yellow marking on it. And it connects your steering wheel to your steering shaft or your steering box down in the rack and pinion. Okay, you're going to remove that guy and set the bolt off to the side. Then you're going to come and there's going to be four bolts that you have to tackle. Okay, or four nuts I should say. There's one right there and there's one right there. Let's see if I can show it to you a little better. Right there, okay. So remove that whole bracket and the nuts and then move your way up to right here. There's one and then there's another one right there. So remove all four of those and what's going to happen is your whole steering assembly will slide down. And it'll give you enough room to slide this shaft out okay so once you do that oh one other thing i should warn y'all about tape this steering wheel up all the way around and make sure it doesn't spin before you remove everything okay you want it locked in because if you spin it what you'll do is you'll break your clock spring in your steering wheel and you'll have a whole different other headache okay so tape that guy up before you start and then continue with what i was talking about Okay, so after you get all those nuts out, okay, you're, you'll have two spacers that are in the back bracket, okay? Let's see. Sorry for the video, guys. You have a spacer here and a spacer on that side of the bracket. Okay, they'll fall out, and it's not a big deal. Just put them back where they were, and everything will be fine, okay? So once you get the steering shaft pulled out of this slot right here, and set down, you're gonna notice that this bracket right here, okay, is bolted on top of the steering shaft. And once the whole shaft slides down, you'll see what I'm talking about. But it takes three Torx 20s to get that bracket off. And once you remove this bracket, all you do is unplug your sensor right here at the connection, and then you just wiggle it down the shaft and it comes right out. Let me see if I can set the light up for y'all.
There we go. And what you'll notice is the sensor will actually slide out in this direction. And if you don't remove this bracket right here that I was talking about that takes the three torque 20s on top, your sensor won't come out. So after you slide that guy down, you replace it with the new sensor, plug everything back in, reverse the procedure, go ahead, put your spacers in, go ahead, connect four nuts up there, connect your steering shaft right here, and then put your crash bar back in. And then you're done. And you'll, like I said, you'll, you'll save yourself typically about 300 to 350 bucks and get rid of that annoying message. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, check our website out if you need any supercharger rebuilds or porting. Have a good day.